I was just randomly chilling, and then I, f I had a thought come to my mind, and I was thinking, I just, I think I just thought of the perfect fight for Kamaru Usman to have next. So as you know, Kamaru Usman didn't retire after his fight against Leon Edwards, and he said he was going to come back. And originally he was calling out Hamzat Chemaev for a fight, but Hamzat's moved up to middleweight, and he's fighting Paul Acosta. So, I was thinking, now this is a big jump for this, for this man, but I was thinking, after his win today, Kevin Holland should fight Kamaru Usman. He's going to be about number 12 or 11, maybe 10, depending on where they rank him up. And, yeah, the guy's, the guy's on a decent run, two-fight winning streak. And the most important thing, him and Kamaru Usman have beef. They had an altercation back in November, which I'm not quite sure what the whole story was. Nobody really said explain what the story was there, but it was between Holland and Usman and then some other guy. So, yeah, why not? Why not get this, get this beef sorted? Because if that isn't the case, Usman's going to be out for ages because he won't fight Shavkat unless it's a title fight. Bilal's sitting out for a title shot. Colby's fighting Leon. Hamzat's moved up. Gilbert's out with a shoulder injury. Doubt Wonderboy's going to fight Usman because he doesn't want to wrestle it. Jeff Neal's fighting Ian Gary. Sean Brady's going to be out till November. Luke's fighting RDA. Neil Magny's probably going to end up fighting like Renat Frenetikov or maybe Jack Dallamadalina or Gabriel Bonfim. He's it. Magni's going to get fed to someone, all right? More than likely. Kiesa just fought. I doubt he's going to turn around. JDM. I doubt Usman's going to come to Sydney. Ian Gary fighting Jeff Neal. Michelle Pereira probably going to move up to middleweight. So literally, the only fight that makes sense for Usman right now is Kevin Holland. And there's already a background, like a backstory to it as well. So it's not like... There's no, like, storyline, at least. There's a storyline. Holland's takedown defense looked really good against Kiesa. He stuffed all five of Kiesa's takedown... Uh, he, all of his takedowns that he shot. So, not saying he would beat Usman. But, you know, if Usman shoots and he can't get him down, we might get a striking fight. And Usman's got decent boxing. He's got an alright jab. So we could get a really fun striking fight out of this. Like, I don't know. I feel like it just makes all the sense in the world. Holland's going to be ranked at World to 8 for sure after beating Kiesa. So, unless Usman's content on waiting and waiting, because I don't know who the fuck he's waiting to fight. Because Colby vs. Edwards as well is going to be in November. And Bilal's just going to be sitting out. And like I've said, Hamzat's going to be fighting in October at middleweight. I doubt, and also I doubt that Burns would want to rematch Usman, or Usman would want to rematch Burns while he's training at the same gym again, especially for no title. I feel like that just would be weird, especially because they're like friends. Like I get they fought for a belt, but like it's a little different than just randomly fighting. So yeah, I, honestly, it's got to be Usman versus Holland next, I reckon. Unless Usman fights the winner of Gary Neal, especially if it's Neal, but I don't know. Maybe he could do Usman versus Sean Brady, but I doubt it. I don't think Sean Brady deserves a step up after getting slept by Palau. But uh, I guess maybe they could do that, but come on. Usman versus Holland makes all the sense in the world, and they have beef. Like I've said, beef, if there's beef, you got to settle that beef, you know? Like... I don't know, it just seems perfect, like, there's a built-in storyline, like, get it on a pay-per-view, not like a main event, obviously, but have them fight on, like, a pay-per-view card, you can have them at a press conference, they'll go back and forth, and then there, it's all written in, that, like, 
See, I don't know, it seems perfect to me. It makes all the sense in the world. Like, yeah, that's what I would do if I was matchmaker. I would do Kevin Holland versus Kamara Usman at some pay-per-view, maybe. Maybe you could do it at an MSG in November. That makes sense. And then you could have the you could have one of them be the backup for the Edwards versus Colby fight. You could do Holland as the backup if Colby pulls out. So then you'd have Holland fight Leon, and then if Colby pulls out, you could no if Leon pulls out, you could make it Usman versus Colby three. Like I don't know something like that. You know you know you know what I mean because you don't want to do Usman versus Edwards four. So. Yeah, maybe you could do something like that. Or you could just have Holland, I guess, be the replacement if either pull out. Just because this one's on a too far losing streak. But I don't know, you could do something like that, is what I'm saying. Because they'd need a backup. And, I don't know, it'd just make all the sense in the world. But I guess we'll see what happens. But yeah, Holland versus Usman, MSG, November, makes all the sense in the world to me. But... I don't know. We'll see what the UFC do. UFC will probably book Usman versus like Renat or some shit, or have Holland fight fucking Renat. Some random matchup. But uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I appreciate anyone who watches this video and likes it. Thank you.